All right, so um, I'm having to make a Prezi with this, but definitely pause or fast forward anytime. Um, definitely get down uh, these definitions. So emphasis is a way of creating importance or impact uh, in an area of a drawing or artwork um, through manipulating, designing, color, texture, space um, to create a focal point. Um, line is just a mark with length and direction. So it's going somewhere. It could be a heavy line, a thick and thin line, whatever. Um, which brings us to the next one, line quality. Lines come in different types of qualities and characteristics. Um, they can be wide or thin, thick or thin, smooth or rough, continuous or broken. Um, all kinds of different characteristics, wavy, curly, whatever. Um, visual texture is, again, the illusion, like what, you, what we do mostly in this class is creating illusions um, of surface quality or the feel of an object. Okay, so moving on. Make sure you get all those in. Pause it or rewind it if you need to. Okay, line types. Write this down. And you're going to draw each one of these and label each one of these. And I'm just going to zip through them because you can pause it at any time. Vertical diagonals. If you can use diagonals, they are always very powerful. Zigzags are interesting. Um, implied line. So this one's important. Um, remember that uh, implied capital I in the left there. Um, you know, it. it indicates a shape or a space or a letter or whatever it is um, through the negative space and not the positive form. Okay, so examples of what it could look like. Curved lines. Um, make sure you have all these drawn in your sketchbooks and labeled. Okay, moving on. Uh, various types of textures and again hatching. This is what it should look like in your sketchbook. Um, and then cross hatching when the lines crisscross. These are really great fundamental techniques that artists use to create value and texture in their drawing. Um, I'm just introducing you to the basics, but there are so many more textures out there and so many different types of lines. Scribble. I love the scribble um, to create uh, textures. Um, when you look at this scribble, it definitely brings to mind like something you would pull out of a sink. Um, you know, so that texture is something I can recall clearly. Um, it could also be like um, a tangle of uh, barbed wire or something. Um, but definitely something rough and not something super soft, or at least if it's soft, it's mushy and gross. Um, so scribbling is really versatile. Okay, um, repetition of shapes. Don't limit yourself to rectangles and circles. You can do all kinds of different ovoids or trapezoids or whatever shapes, but do know that round shapes are going to give you more of an organic feel and you know like I said it, it reminds you of like the skin of a lizard or a fish whereas the rectangular repetition is more jagged and sharp um, and might remind you of like construction or metal or things like that um, so you know the choices of what shapes you use will also dictate the illusion of whatever texture it is that you're trying to capture. And that's what it would look like. And then stippling, one of my favorites, um, just dots, a collection of dots that go from dark to middle to light. You can create whole drawings with this and I'll show you that at some point. But this technique is called stipple or pointillism. So it kind of reminds me of like the flesh of a an orange, um, you know, with the dimpling and stuff. So those are the visual textures that I cover and the lines that I cover. There are so many more out there, but these are the basics. So make sure you get those in there and then try out um, creating value, different dark, middle and light values with 
the textures. Here is examples of hatching, but you can try um, value scales in stippling or scribbling or repetition of shape. Um, so it's all up to you. How are you going to do this assignment? Okay, let's see.